Well guys, the second episode of Moon Knight is officially out and there is a lot to talk about as there is a lot of development and what exactly is going on in this series, how it relates to multiple personalities and the bigger overall story and what we learn. So let's get to it. So right off the bat in this episode, we are going to pick up from where we left off. And we see that there's quite a few things going on that may not be as they seem, specifically when it comes to Stephen Grant, as we see that he's a little bit worried that the footage they're going to see on the cameras is going to reveal exactly what happens, except the footage isn't exactly all that it seems because, well, he's running away from invisible things. It just looks like he's crazy. Again, playing up with the whole what exactly is he seeing, what's going on, could this be real? Is it all imaginary? Again, they're all playing with the sort of expectations and what angle you're seeing it through. And I really appreciate that. And we see that Steven ends up getting fired, which leads him to actually finally meet the woman who turns out to be his wife that he was previously speaking to on the phone. And she was a little concerned. She offers him up some divorce papers because she believes that's what Mark Spector would have wanted. But she has no idea that there's uh, multiple personalities within this body. Which brings us to the bigger overall story here where we learn a lot more about Arthur. Specifically as the villain that he is now and how previously he was a vessel for Khonshu. And he wants revenge on Khonshu which is why he's doing the bidding of another god. Now I have a lot to say about this so I will be talking about this in the audio commentary and as somebody who absolutely loves Egyptian history I think there's a lot of interesting ways that they're handling this and a lot of interesting directions they could go with so hopefully we see you guys there for that. But I will say what I really enjoyed was seeing Mark Spector trying to push Steven to let him have control. He of course doesn't really want to up until the end but what we really see here is that Steven can summon the suit and the suit happens to be Mr. Knight which again is really interesting to see how he's going to handle himself in that persona and what exactly are they going to do with the third one and do they even reveal that in this season or do they save that for down the road Whatever they decide to do, I really like the complexity of this episode playing with all the mental aspects of it, playing with uh, you know, the amount of power that Steven has when he suits up, and how Mark Spector is this just ruthless, apparent um, a killer, really. That's kind of what they're pushing here. But again, we don't have the whole story. There's just a lot of moving pieces that I think in this episode specifically really were and more so than the first episode overall i really enjoyed this one can't wait to talk more about it and see how it works in the grand scheme of the full series 